We're gonna try to break record time right here. Cut press got shoot. Here with Brandon Swift, fresh off the real world. What's going on? MTV Real World, St. Thomas, in the building. So I'm on that way, way back. Way back, <laughs> all the way back in high school. Freshman mm -hmm. year, we had, we used to have the curls. Oh yeah, <laughs> the curls, man. Yeah, I used to have yeah, little curl joints when I came from 14. <laughs> and when I was in 10th grade, I had braids. Used to play football, scarfball, yo, football, back in the day. Football, wrestling, all that. Yeah. And this dude, man, used to be dancing, hard <laughs> shaking everywhere, pop, popping, uh, popping. You had the girls. You had all the oh, girls. <laughs> I ain't no ladies, man. That's crazy. How was your life in Edison and even in Philly uh, mm -hmm. molded you to the person that you are now? You know, we both from we both from E Town. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I used to hear when people call South it's outside. I used to hear when people call E Town, by the way. but um, being from Edison, you know, it's definitely one of the more diverse areas in in Jersey. And the fact that I grew up around so many different people, uh, different ethnicities, races, religions different type of cliques into into this music into that type of music yeah. just all different types of genres of people united nations it really honestly our town really is like that and it's just like even when i went to school in philadelphia i saw that you know temple's a very diverse school but it's kind of segregated how everybody would hang out who would hang out with who and the thing is it's always being growing up in edison and growing up in this area of jersey central jersey it's allowed me to be able to relate to so many different types of people <laughs> yo but let's talk about the real world man do you think you were really going to make it on the show with that audition tape honestly i actually went to a casting call Oh. And when I went to the casting call, a girl I was actually uh, dating at the time, she um, she was the one trying out. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you promised you would go down for more support two weeks ago? And I'm like, no, I'm not going. I'm not waiting in line with over over a thousand, two thousand people. I'm not doing it. I don't feel like doing it. No, no, you promised. Literally, she fought with me to go. I'm like, alright, 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 I'll go. I went in there, said my piece. I was extremely blunt. And they had to wrap me up, like, all right, all right, enough. I'm like, yep, I'm not really pressed to do the show. Um, finishing up college. You know, I think the institution of college is BS, you know. You go, you work your ass over four years, and then you don't not even guarantee the job. Um, relationships, I'm not doing it. I tell the chick what it is from the beginning. And I was just like, everybody was watching me, like, oh, wow, he He's just going doesn't in. care. <laughs> going right I was just now. going in. And then they sat me down, and everybody else, you could tell they were kind of, they wanted to, like, they really would want to do it. Kind of, they kind of put on a little bit. Yeah. And and then with me, they're like, he's like, yeah, just stay, stay after the time. All right. And then she, and me and the other chick got picked. The chick I was actually messing with at the time, she got picked to stay. Mm -hmm. And it's like they picked like actually like 50 something people out of out of all of Philadelphia to stay after and fill all this paperwork out. And then the paperwork, it was just like, it was questions like, are your parents together? Do your dad ever leave you? What is your view on on Obama? Are you conservative? Um, which, are you gonna vote the next election? What is your sex life like? What's your favorite position? Like, yo, crazy in depth. And it's all open-ended questions. Like, who's your best friend? How long you know them for? And it's like 70 questions long. So I just waited around for three to four hours when I didn't want to. Now they like me to stay afterwards. And it's like 50 other people that picked this afterwards. I have to fill this 70 page back. I'm not doing this. I'm like, I'm leaving. And they're like, she's like, no, it's a fake. Just fill it out. I wasn't. I didn't really take it serious. And then they called for a final interview to go to LA. And then I'm like, Oh, you're trying to tell it. Oh wow, this is real. <laughs> let me stop BS, right? Let me really, let, let me really start taking it serious. You know what I mean? And then I went to LA, and then I had a great, I had a great time. And did you meet know? everybody there? You met everybody no. like on the? They, they, they made it. sure you cannot meet anybody. If you accidentally ran into somebody out there who was there for their final interview, you would not 
the Alliance of Watershed. Oh, wow. It's very serious. Very serious. With all the questions and everything. Seven Whatever. strangers pick the living house. <laughs> yeah. It's real. So how has that been being like, on the show, having camera people follow you around, yeah. every move, going to the bathroom, bringing girls back to the house, like yeah. everywhere you're at? We had a lot of restrictions. And there's a lot of places you couldn't go if it wasn't clear to shoot. So, uh, and honestly, I built such strong relationships with people on the island mm -hmm. that I was close with some people on the island than I was necessarily people in my house that I lived with. Oh wow! Yeah. So, and I spent so much time and people and since other people didn't see me, it's because I'm out and about. I'm exploring. Uh, I'm doing everything. I, I people really start calling me like you really call me like yo. You're really like a St. Thomas native now. And it's just like for me to see, for people to see my story and really see what I really did and how I lived my life out there, you would have to really follow me around out on the island because I spent more time out on the island than the house. What is next for you now? I feel like with this opportunity, it definitely is a platform that you have to you have to put the work in because you have you have a chance to have an advantage with a lot of people and to stay on and really and keep the main up there, really be some making money, whatever. With whatever you do, you have to build the brand. That's been my main thing, building the brand. Going out to the events, going to Hot 97 uh, parties, going, hosting these concerts, doing all that. Because that's all I've done in the brand. I also did commercial for at and you know, not texting and driving. I think that's, I was actually very happy that at t you know, wanted to put me on board to do, be a part of the commercial. I actually did have one of my guys since that one since when I was 16 up. Uh, in a car accident, and her brother died too, and her parents lost both the kids in the accident. So that definitely meant a lot to me to do to do be a part of a commercial like that, and um, also to you know Subway, the Subway commercial, um, running around with MTV. I also host my live web show every Wednesday while the show is actually airing. Where, uh, yes. where can people find that? You can actually find that on um, Vocal, but you can go to my Insta, or you can go to my Instagram or my Twitter, Beast with MTV. And uh, I have links, you guys can click on it, you can watch it, you can, fans can watch it live with me and ask me any questions they want and, and everything. So, you know, except I like to interact with the fans yeah. and everything like that. And, you know, also too, I'm doing a lot of different photo shoots here and there, interviews, appearances, all of that. So that's definitely been a blast. But I'll, I'll probably say next, the next one is probably on the horizon because a lot of people have been pushing me to do it and I actually feel kind of passionate about it. Just doing a commercial, I definitely see myself doing some acting here and there, you know what I mean? So I, I jumping in there. I'm gonna jump into bug. it. Yeah, I'm gonna jump into it. We'll get out of here. Right, where can people say your Twitter one more time? Yes, you can follow me at B Swift MTV. You can follow me on Instagram, B Swift MTV. You gotta, you gotta not keep it in sync. <laughs> but also, so also, I have the website, officialswift.com. We can get all, we can get all the juicy stuff that I'm doing. Everything I'm doing with the media, photos, my bio. Um, I also got the Swiss Sweeties t-shirts coming out. Swiss Sweeties? All the Swiss Sweeties Whoa. out there. So on Twitter, all crazy. All my Swiss Sweeties. Hashtag Swiss Sweeties. I love y'all ladies out there. So, you know, it's a lot of stuff on the site, so definitely check it out. And yeah, so that's hey, where you can really find me. Closing, closing remarks, anything? Or just Closing remarks. I just had a sensational shoot with my man Cliff. My man Ray, video doing a videography and, you know, interviewing, man. Definitely good people right here. Definitely enjoy coming through and showing love to people I know for a minute in a while. You know what I mean? Honestly, those are the people that I hold up to my heart. You know what I mean? And I actually feel the most comfortable with and trust. You know what I mean? They know me before, before this. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what really counts. You know? Anyway, though, peace with MTV. Tune in Wednesdays, Wednesdays 10 o'clock on MTV. Peace.